YouTube, 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 never fear, Loki Jay's here, back with another sneaker review. Today I bring you a pickup that is not mine, it is my brother Naeem15 on YouTube, fuck failure on Instagram, go follow him, you won't be disappointed, always with the fire heat. Let's get into this review, amazing, amazing sneaker, uh, better in hand, as I knew Virgil wouldn't disappoint, but it's just something else once you get these in hand. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for this one. First off, give you a nice special box because you know we love that uh, Air Jordan Wings logo throughout. You got your holes throughout the box. You know, plastic um, box here. A little Nike branding there, and at the bottom there a little bit, and. The only bad thing about this uh, plastic is that it can break and this is what you got. Just want to buy or beware. So be careful. Um, but nothing that this box can't handle as this is a pretty sturdy box still. And uh, Air Jordan 2 Retro Low SP. You got black Varsity Royal. And style code is DJ4375004 made in vietnam and uh yeah as you can see it does not have no ydm sticker as you can see inside the box and there is no uh stamp action going on either just anybody wondering it does come individually wrapped in a ziploc bag and tissue paper so the presentation is amazing virgil did not skimp with these you get your ziploc bag here and you have 2021 off white, you know, your tissue paper, it's a clear tissue paper, and you have your jump man there. And around the jump man, it says uh, Air Jordan underneath here, it says off white, and then you have your off white logo throughout the tissue paper, it's right here. So, very hard to see. You, but it's there and here they are Woo! Woo! Woo man beautiful sneakers man uh, amazing feeling as well executed uh, great man a virtual great job RIP and you know you got your gray outsole starting out with the outsole there hits of that varsity blue going around the heel there black and you got your nike branding there as this was uh scanned outsole midsole from michael jordan's uh, original pair and you can see the cracks going on right there all the details right there show you the midsole this crazy you got black midsole here and it looks like it's yellowed out right there same thing with your zip tie here it has the same color off-white nike sursa 2021 zip tie and show you the midsole on this one as they're both different it has a little bit more of that yellowing going on more cracking in the medial there just fire on your upper you have this plastic heel and at the top you have this varsity blue then you got the black stitching going throughout there and it is just cut off right there as, as far as the paint job right there so a nice little pop not too much to keep the sneaker you know predominantly all black you have this premium um like reptile style uh, leather embossed on there and then you have the smooth leather on your mud guard and i love the shape of it just very sleek very true to the ogs you have perforations throughout right there as well as on the tongue i'll show you on this pair here 
the top of the tongue you have a two-part tongue and so it's there you got your perforations there so this one got the uh, Michael Jordan signature in like a gray silver your medial has off-white you know Nike Air Jordan doesn't say two uh, Beaverton or Oregon uh, starts in 1986 I'll show you the other one and you know it's cut off you know off white for Nike Air Jordan no Air Jordan 2 and you know you don't see the 1986 there and the Michael Jordan signature is right here and it goes down here where you got this blue uh, piping going on right there I would have liked like how the um, the white colorway came out with a little bit of that blue piping here but you know this is a uh, Virgil's vision so um, you know he did many samples and you know but uh, I get it wanted to uh, keep it more of a black tone upper so but um I don't know I just like that look on the white pair comes with additional set of laces you got your black and shoelaces in white well it looks like uh, off white there you got your um, not bright red it's like a off like a aged uh, red uh, black shoelaces and you have your blue lace with black lettering shoelaces and uh, again the blue is like an aged look it is not the same as the blue on the upper you have more blue on your rubber wings Air Jordan logo there uh, yeah the upper of this leather feels very premium it does have like a matte finish and it is similar to the bin five leather it feels the same premium so if you are one to want to add like a, a bin five style leather sneaker this is it same feel and everything just premiumness going on here you have your little metal eyelid I'll show you this one without the shoelaces there you got your metal eyelid here the bottom and as well as at the top you got your plastic eyelids there four of them uh, you got your exposed foam going on right there as we can see around the collar as well that Virgil is known for and the off-white treatment the sock liner is black and your padding is extra padded it feels very very padded you will have that great comfort when you're wearing these I could feel it is very stuffed so you have a white insole black jump man and off white logo there same on the other sneaker in case you're wondering if it's the hands no it's just the face there so and yeah great job by Virgil and you know as far as rating these man you know um, I'm thinking man these are so good uh, up there with even like the Air Jordan 1 lows especially like the um, the fragments that released last year as well I'm gonna go with like a, a 9.3 it is so good you know great alternative if you um don't have right now if you're looking for say your favorite or jordan one is the the royals maybe a low royal or high royal this is a great alternative plus this collaboration you know just fire job uh and the leather executed um great um craftsmanship is on point you know tell you the production date here we have 1 20 21 5 21 21 so it took four months of production to uh get the sneaker done and these release when was it november so they had these for about six months you know typically three months before you know they do the release so it was like six months until they officially released them and yeah just a fire job man the details the feel of the leather one of the best man you know the only thing with me is uh 
the sock liner. I wish they would have made it uh, maybe a, a leather sock liner or some quilted sock liner. But again, I understand trying to keep it uh, very OG. But that's just me. I always want like even more premium if the sneakers premium. Um, same thing goes even with the New Balances. I always want like a premium sock liner. That's just me. I always want more. Why not? You know, especially since we're paying premium dollars for these sneakers. So, but I get they want to cut some costs and just uh, keep it pretty basic and stuff sometimes, you know, not to go too crazy. And it's enough with the upper. Like the whole upper is of this premium leather and it is a nice thick cut. And when I tell you feel the leather on this, you know there is differences in the, the leather quality that Jordan brand gives us and you can see how cracked even though it's a smooth leather you can see like cracked uh look to it i'll get you an up close look just the details man and that gray lettering there on the side matching the gray signature just all the details youtube don't want to keep you too long once again thank you brother for letting me review these just amazing pickups just fire flame fuego shaboy logan j i hope you enjoyed the review and i'm signing out peace